Stability AI launched their stable video diffusion today and it's pretty impressive from the samples that they've provided. The uh, introduction to the stable video diffusion has a number of very interesting facts about it but first of all I will uh, caution you this is still the research release it is going to be a little while before we see the final release now on the on the web page they've got some really interesting really fascinating examples and one shows the car one shows uh, a train the other one a robot and you can see from the way that the camera moves that the camera seems to be tracking the objects that uh, that they're creating and the ai is able to track this train and to keep the angles just about right and maybe most impressively is this robot here where you've got this sort of spinning angle now what they're saying is that they hope that this is going to have a lot of different uh, applications and a key feature is the ability of the uh, model to create these kind of 3d objects where you can see the same object consistent in different angles they also provide some comparison data. So we've got competitive performance against Runway and Pica Labs. And not surprisingly, uh, S S Stability AI's model is actually doing better than these other guys. It's doing better in the 14 frame uh, condition and it's also doing better in the 25 frames condition, uh, actually improving its performance over Runway. Now, as I said before, the release is really just for research for the time being, but they are planning to release a full one eventually. And this is what they did when they released SDXL. Now, the files are available for those who want to download them on Hugging Face. And on Hugging Face, there are some really impressive video examples. Again, I found this one with the house is really, really impressive. You've got the you've got the blur happening in the in, in the camera view and uh, it looks fantastic the one with the rocket as well is pretty decent so it does look fairly impressive and they say that they sampled a huge number of images more than half a billion images to or half a million samples to actually train this uh, particular model there are some limitations the generated videos are rather short uh, less than four seconds and obviously they say it does not achieve perfect photorealism now, if you want to download the files, they are here. There is at least a couple of them that are pretty large, about uh, 9.5 gigabytes in total. So we're talking about file sizes about the same as SDXL when it first came out. And they also released a paper, the research paper into this. And it's got some very interesting data points in it. The 600 million samples that I mentioned before. And it's got um, quite a lot of detail about how they went about training. And they detail a three-stage training process where they started off with uh, modeling the way video works, uh, from what I understand it. And then in, they went into training it on large data sets, small samples, and then high resolution video for creating the high quality output or the highest quality output. There's also mentioned that they went ahead and uh, trained it to take different angles, which is something I've talked about before, but they is able to do this at a fraction of the computational cost that previous techniques uh, have been able to, 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 to use. And this is something I noticed when using Runway's model. It, it doesn't get the camera angles perfect. So it'll be interesting to see whether this one can do better in terms of camera, camera angles. Now, if you do decide to read the paper, there's some interesting uh, examples right at the end. If you want to dive into those, it's very difficult to show what's happening inside uh, of the images on screen. But essentially what they're de dealing with here is an attempt to demonstrate the kind of panning. So I think the first one is one frame after another panning across, uh, across the frame. And there's uh, one for zooming and another one for, I think, vertical motion. So. They, they go into quite some detail and I think they're using LoRa's, they're using uh, uh, low rank adapters to actually control the camera. So fascinating stuff, it'll be interesting to see how it all works. That's it for this one guys, if you want to keep, keep up to date, do subscribe for more videos. So if you made it this far, it means you're pretty interested in creative AI 
and just this one time I'm gonna have a special treat a special offer just for you in the description